Immigration reform, hot topic these days. Democrats hoping to include a path to citizenship for some undocumented immigrants in the $3.5 trillion spending bill. That's right. And our next guest is the first female director of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS, or Mendoza Jadu. Thank you for being with us, Director Jadu. And I, I wanted to see if you would be willing to address some of this breaking news that we're learning about just now. ABC News uh, has heard now that uh, we are Customs and Border Protection sending extra manpower to deal with with thousands of migrants, many of them coming from Haiti. Uh, the mayor uh, in the area there of Del Rio is now asking for federal help that this situation has gotten so difficult. Can you tell us anything about what's happening there? Thank you so much for having me th here today. It's really an honor. Um, certainly that is a very, very important key issue for the Department of Homeland Security, and it is something that especially my counterparts at the Customs and Border Protection and the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE and CBP, are working very heavily on um, directly there. Well, we, we know everyone is, is certainly hard at work trying to rectify that situation. We want to talk about you, though. Lots of firsts <laughs> on your resume as we read them aloud. Not only are you the first woman director, but the first Latina woman and the first daughter of immigrants to head uh, the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. What do all of those firsts mean to you personally? Oh, thank you so much for, for raising that. It means so much to me. Just as you stated, it's really an honor to be the director as the first Mexican-American woman, the first Chaldean-American woman to lead this agency, this agency that once naturalized my parents, my mom from Mexico, my dad from Iraq. I know they would be so, prou so, so proud of me um, to be in this role today. Ma'am, it, it was really heartwarming to see you light up when talking about your parents. You're the head of an organization now, <laughs> uh, an agency that, like you said, processed uh, and was a part of that process with your, your own parents. Um, but we've got to talk about the work. You've got uh, a heck of a job ahead of you here. Yes. Um, I want you to explain, there's always talked about this backlog that USCIS has uh, when it comes to processing visas, green cards in particular. What did the pandemic, though, do to that backlog, and what can you do to try to even catch up a little bit? Thank you for raising that really important point, and it really is a priority of mine, as it is a priority for USCIS. In fact, just yesterday, I made this point to bring on a team of people who are going to be working on this very issue, led by a very experienced career individual who knows a lot about the immigration system and how things are processed at USCIS. And of course, you raised our most one of our biggest challenges at this time, which is COVID, trying to process millions of people who are requesting um, immigration and naturalization benefits from USCIS. It is a challenge, but we are working through it. We have an agile, we have a dedicated, we have an extremely talented staff of people who are so excited and so care so much about their work. So we're working through the challenges, but there is a lot of work to do. It will take time, but I know together we're going to be able to do this. It is our mission to process efficiently without uh, um, insure, while ensuring at the same time the integrity of our system. We can do this. It may take some time. It may take some resources, but I know there are certainly dedicated public servants and all of us who've recently arrived certainly are going to be able to do this. Yes, uh, you've recently arrived, Director Jadu, but I know that you probably have a long list of to-dos, what you want to accomplish. Can you give us some of your top priorities as you take over now and, and lead this organization? Absolutely. It, one of the most important things to do is restoring our legal immigration and naturalization system to what it has always been, this ideal, this, this very important engine of economic and growth for this nation. And certainly that is what I'm dedicated to doing in my, t in my tenure here as the director of USCIS. And of course, when I mention legal immigration and naturalization, naturalization is the pinnacle. It's the end of the immigration journey for people, but the beginning of an American journey for people who become citizens and start their new lives as Americans in the United States. And that's something that we're celebrating. Um, now we are naturalizing 21,000 people over the next week. It's very exciting to welcome all these new Americans into the fabric of our nation. These are old people from all parts of the world, 
all sorts of experiences, all sorts of talents, and certainly will help America and increase our economic strength. Director Jadu, thank you so much and congratulations uh, for, for, for getting the gig. Thank We've got you. a lot of work to do and we're going to see you plenty down the road. But, uh, but congratulations. We hope you'll come back and see us here on GMA3. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. It was very nice to meet you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.